use images to tell a story, design an eye-catching intro, or just create an amazing transition through any number of images using the infinite zoom effect. Let's spend a few minutes together in Mulvavi and I'll show you how I create this effect so that you can too. Let's go. To create this effect, we'll need to find some images containing either a square or rectangular shape in them. After finding a few nice looking images, we'll gather them up and bring them into Mulvavi's media bin. Now we can drag one of these images into the timeline and crop it to fit the preview window. Next, we'll want to remove the square shape from this image so that we can zoom through it, exposing the image in the track below. So to do this, we'll go up to this stickers icon and under the shapes tab, we'll find rectangle. Now let's grab this rectangle and bring it down into the timeline, placing it in the titles track right above the image. Next, we can change the color from yellow to a color that's not already in the image. I typically go with the traditional green screen color, but if there's green in the image, then I'll pick something else. Okay, now that we've got our green color, we can move over to the preview window and using the adjustment points, resize it to fit whatever square or rectangular opening our image has. By the way, by clicking the three dot icon below the preview window, we can easily remove guides and even unpin the preview window to maximize for a full screen view. Now that we have that set, let's click the snapshot icon and save a copy. Then using the import tab, we'll grab that copy and bring it right back into the media bin. We'll then follow the same process for the rest of our images. Once we have all of the saved images up in our media bin, we can clean up our project by deleting out everything except our new snapshots. Next, we'll want to count up our snapshots and insert an additional video track for each of them. Now that the extra tracks are added, let's bring everything down into the timeline. From here, let's take the first image in our sequence and place it up in the very top track and then insert the rest of our images in the tracks below. Next, we need to remove the green screen. This step is what actually creates the opening that we can zoom through to get to the underlying image. So to do this, we'll make sure that the clip is highlighted, click the More Tools icon, then click Chroma Key, and then select out that green color. If adjustments are needed, we can correct them by using the adjustment settings right here. Now let's go through and do the same thing to the rest of our images so that we're ready to go for the next step. And speaking of next step, now it's time to add a zoom. To do this, we'll select the More Tools icon, click Pan and Zoom, and from here, let's grab the Zoom In option and drop it on the top track. As you can see, this just gave us two keyframes on our clip. The first keyframe represents the starting position of our zoom, and the second keyframe represents the area that we will zoom in to. Now, Movavi automatically sets the first keyframe to full screen and leaves us ready to place the second keyframe right where we want it. So we can go ahead and resize this frame in the preview window to fit within the green square, and this will make it look as though we are zooming right through that opening. Now, if we want to smooth out the zoom or edit the zoom to the beat of music, we might find it necessary to add an extra keyframe. To do this, we'll right click on the track where we'd like an additional keyframe to be placed, and from there, go up to pan and zoom and select add keyframe. Now, up in the preview window, we can reposition and resize this keyframe to get the zoom we're looking for. Now for the second image in the track below, we'll want that to play for a little while longer than the first track. So we'll go ahead and extend this track out in the timeline. Then we'll insert a zoom in along with any additional keyframes we need to create a nice looking zoom. Once applied, the second track will zoom through the cutout to reveal the third track. Now we'll do the same thing for the third image, stretching the track a bit further to where we want, and again adding a zoom to reveal the fourth track. Now we can repeat this exact same process to finish up with the rest of our images. Lastly, if we'd like our zoom to flow along to the beat of a song, we can do this by simply selecting our music track and applying beat detection. After applying, Movavi will actually show us where the beats are in the song. We can then line up our zoom keyframes to these beat markers so that our zoom flows along to the beat of the music. Once everything's just how we like it, let's export, and we've got a really awesome looking effect. 